we are a collection society that uses blockchain technology for what we think it's the best use that we can give. Think of it like a second layer of the internet. Some people call it the internet of agreements or the internet of value or something like that. As Julie says, people are using it in developing countries to try and have an immutable way of recording who owns what land. The way Creative Europe is organised is it has two sub-programmes. One sub-programme called Media and another one called Culture which is for all cultural expressions, including, of course, music. This is only the first step, as I said, towards a bigger EU music program. So there again, there we have more time to work on what we think should be in those programs. This is a lot of what I'd like to do, is say, okay guys, I have this band, you've never heard of them, I promise. You're gonna love them. But we do need the human side, the eye-to-eye -eye talk. This is like the second year, third year at Gimaresh where Sink has been on the table. Look, I think it's a great place. We all like coming here. It's cheap to come here. So it's kind of like almost the perfect place to do a Sink event is here. With all of this different kind of data we are able to collect, it might be that when people are listening to music, uh, it might adapt based on people's mood or people's location. I'm not trying to find you. We try to invite people that uh, has got a new message, a new music message. This is exactly what we are looking for. Mm. And this is what the character needs and the situation and the movie, the scene needs and it shines more than before. People want to make it safe. They do safe choices because they are afraid of how it's going to be accepted uh, in the broad perspective, in the audience, so to say. But whenever I have had clients who have been daring to go with the unexpected, that's where you get the attention for real. You never get the attention when you go where somebody expects you to go already. Music, it's, it's, it's like the, the, the maestro, it, it sets the tone, it sets the, 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 the pace, the timing, everything. But by 2020, almost 70% of all internet traffic will be video containing music and there's no legal licensing solution for it. Spotify was the devil, right? The royalties were going to kill the music industry and we had no future if this is the way we were going. And now the music industry is experiencing growth for the first time in 10 years, largely because of streaming. The future of music isn't going to be decided by Spotify and it's not going to be decided by YouTube and it's not even necessarily going to be decided by artists, it's going to be decided by fans mm. because fans have got access to all music of all time, all the time, on any device, mm. anywhere they are, right? Doesn't
Everyone is probably thinking, well, we've been able to overcome a piracy problem and consequently this uh, piracy has been declining and it is no longer a threat to right holders. Well, I will let you answer this question by yourselves at the end of this presentation. Agencies is also because we have um, a small um, group of festivals that are really concerned with presenting local artists and pushing uh, local talent. Then we know from some acts uh, they are doing quite well in Portugal, but most of them never played here, so there's a huge potential, I think. People who are of, who can be of influence for an act come together and show this all these talents so that people actually see, oh, this is a great band. Why? Maybe I can do something with it. We are all uh, in this business because we have taste and we have an opinion about music. That's why that program exists. So you can go and we can give you some money for the cashes of the musicians that goes with you. Thank you.